Hi, this is David Staples. Today we're going to be talking about what is a DRP, and that's coming right up. So what is a DRP? A DRP is a disaster recovery plan, and it's something that organizations should implement so that we know how we're going to respond in the case that some sort of a disaster occurs that affects our company. It could be something like a natural disaster, such as a flood or a tornado. It could be something like a hurricane. These types of things happen on a regular basis, right? If you live on the west coast of the United States, you might see things such as earthquakes. Uh, so there's a lot of different types of things that we might want to plan for. But it doesn't have to be natural disasters. It could be something as simple as maybe like a fiber cut. Fiber cuts sometimes are repaired pretty quickly within an hour or two. But if it's a, you know, a strand or a bundle with a lot of strands in there, it could take 8 to 10 to 12 hours or so to splice all those individual fibers back together, right? So when we're looking at something like that, we need to plan for how do we actually uh, recover from this kind of scenario. Some things like the fiber cut are out of our hands. There's other things such as maybe you've got a RAID array that fails and you didn't have any sort of redundant backup. So maybe we plan on how to actually recover from backups to a different RAID array or to a different storage location. Maybe we plan our off-site backups. As part of those, though, we also want to make sure that we know how this stuff works. How does the recovery process work? So when I'm actually going to recover some data, whether it be to the same system that I had it on or to a different system, I want to make sure that I know how that recovery process works as well. Don't wait until the disaster actually happens to learn how your recovery software works for your backup software. So make sure that you have all of this information on hand. Make sure that you practice these things. You might actually want to even practice, say, flipping a circuit breaker or unplugging a network connection and practice how to actually recover from that. Again, these are types of scenarios where we do want to have redundant procedures and redundant equipment, redundant systems in place. But sometimes in the worst case scenarios, everything goes down. We want to make sure that we have some sort of a way to recover from that, right? And that is what our disaster recovery plan will do for us. It doesn't matter if you're a large organization or a small organization maybe a medium organization, whether you're government or private sector, everyone should really have some sort of a disaster recovery plan in place so that you know exactly how you're going to recover and be able to continue to operate when one of these disasters happens. Because typically it's not a matter of if, it's a matter of when, right? Uh, if you look at our current scenario right now, I'm filming this and uh, from my home studio when coronavirus is all around the area, all around the world, uh, that could be considered a disaster, right? Our employees can't come into the office. They shouldn't be coming into the office unless it's absolutely essential. So how do we recover? How do we continue to do business with basically an employee shortage or at least an on-premise employee shortage? So these disaster recovery plans are important. Make sure that you know what they are. It doesn't matter whether you're studying for a CompTIA certification or for AWS, the Amazon Web Services or Cisco or Microsoft or whatever. Uh, there's a lot of different certifications in IT and other situations where you just need to have a plan and make sure that you know how to implement that plan in the case that it actually does occur. So thanks for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, feel free to click on that like button down below. Uh, if you want to see more from me, feel free to click on subscribe. And if you want to be notified, click on that bell icon as well. If you've got any questions, comments, concerns, feel free to leave those down in the comments below. I uh, will see you in the next video. You guys take care.